Welcome back to Biology 101 with the American Big Guy. And to some of you, I am the American Big Guy. I'm not going to belabor you with a long intro this time. What I'm going to do is just dig right into the top 12 points that I feel, based on my experience of traveling around the country, indicate a man that may be bisexual or bi-curious. Um, you know, there's always room for variation there. Uh, but at the same time, if you find through this list that you're checking off ding, 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 and some of these points will have like two check marks beside them, the more likely that person is a teammate, meaning on the bi team and bisexual. Now understand that they may be sidelined because not every teammate plays, right? They may, you know, but I think this is a really great indicator to help people kind of gauge, you know what, my, my sixth sense is going off here that this person may not be heterosexual or that, you know, they might be bi-curious. Um, and like I said before, it is based off me living all across the country in over 11 states and talking to thousands of people and just seeing the same trend. And for the most part, it's pretty much my radar. So let's dig into it. Um, the first thing I want to say is tight shorts. In the gym, oftentimes you see guys walking around in stringer tees and short shorts and, you know, jogging that grab their body. Okay, yeah, they're in there. To, they look good, but they're also in there to show off. I was talking to um, this woman the other day, and she was telling me that, yeah, you know what? Most men are trying to impress other men in the gym or men in the gym are trying to person them in and she was absolutely right when i'm in there in my stringer tee you know or i got my shorter shorts on you know working out like i know that there's mostly men in there yeah a woman may see me and she may be attracted to me but i know that most of the people in there are men and men wear these things because they want to of course ignite say hey look at me so that's what that's also an indicator now i'm not saying that i mean that person bi or gay but that's also a check that i noticed that okay you know what they're trying to show off and they know that in the gym setting they're going to be other men. You know, oftentimes what you get are gay men who will go in there. And sometimes, you know, not every gay man is the same, of course. But you do have those guys who be wearing those real tight, tight shorts, you know, indicating. And they just be living their best life. So go, you know, go get gay mascots. Do your thing. But oftentimes, I've kind of taken this and I, I compared that to the bi man. And gay men be like, well, nobody approaches me. Even though I'm in here showing my goodies, you know, trying to recruit. It's recruiting season. And I'm like, yeah, because it's a little bit more subtle for the bi man. But oftentimes, I think that apparel in the gym is also a way of men who are saying hey i'm looking for attention um and i can definitely or likely will be from other men the second thing i would say um and also with that you know they all sometimes have to hike their shorts up like you can do your squats and your short shorts but sometimes they'd be really showing off you know showing their calves you know not just calves but like their quads like hey, look at me you know that's another thing they're looking for attention from other men the next thing i would say is uh whether they're submissive around you or dominate you and this is really good for the gay man or the bi man who's wondering like i said before like what's going on here the man that you may be into may be very dominant right he may even be with the military or i don't know he hell he might even be you know just like hyper masking what have you but when he gets around you he may be revealing his softer side and it might just be because you're really a friend of him or he could be doing in a sense of like hey you know like i know that i'm this big hard stereo guy but right now i am someone who is kind of like comfortable enough to show that side i think it's a beautiful thing or you know what he might start trying to dominate you grab you around the waist right that's another thing if a dude grabs me around the waist we got a problem like i'm not into somebody grabbing me around the waist just not my thing at all so you know but yeah i can tell when a guy tries to dominate me and i'm like yeah no i mean man you know right um not okay not okay with me but just kind of notice how he's around you when he's with his girlfriend he might be one way or when he you know and when he's with you he's a whole different person or he might be the same way with you as he's with his girlfriend so like i said as these things kind of as i go through this list just if he's checking it off yeah it's likely that person's a teammate um the next thing I want to say uh, is that if he winks at you, oh my God, I've had so many men wink at me. If I had a dime for every time in my life I've had a man wink at me, baby, I have a lot of money, okay? I didn't even know people still winked at each other. I thought it was like some sort of game at one point. I was like, are we in the Matrix? Because I had so many dudes winking at me in my life. I mean, I've had a few women, and I'm not talking about winking in the sense of like, hey, there's a joke here, you know, like play along with. I'm talking about while you're standing in line at Disney. I'm talking about while you're across the room and you see somebody you don't know and they wink at you. I'm talking about somebody in the classroom, you know, who's all the way across the room and winking at you just because they see you staring at them. Somebody who winks, like winking is a top indicator that, hey, I'm feeling you. Remember with the bi team, we're like, 
vampires and werewolves. We like the subtlety and we play when the moon is full, if you will. Um, meaning that, you know, we don't all, we're not always interested. And our bike formulas may l always look very different. So you might fall in that person's 20% same sex attraction or 10%. But remember, it doesn't mean that they want to hit the field with you. They may very well be sidelined. But this is to help guide you, like I said, as we go through the checklist. Like, hey, you know what? This person is likely probably curious or a teammate. But leave it at that. Take it for what it is. But no, you're not crazy. Because at one point I was like, why are all these people winking at me? What is going on? Yeah, and you know who you are, okay? If you watch this video and you've seen before, you know you've winked at me. And I'm like, okay, you're right along with everybody else in there. All right. So the next thing I want to talk about is point of four. Let's see here. How he touches you. Every time he touches you, I'm at a point in my life where I don't want to be touched by anybody, male or female. I've had so many people grope me and get a really good grab of my muscles. And, you know, even like I even had a former Broncos player offer to give me a back massage one time. And he was just going in there. Um, how often when you like someone, you know, you might find that, hey, you know, you're looking for a little bit more of a, 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 a connection with them. Um, yeah, shoulder taps are one thing, but I'm talking about how often, like I said, they grab you around the waist, you know, is he always looking for opportunity to grab your butt? You know, we know that men do it all the time in the uh, football field or basketball court, which I always thought was a weird thing. Like, why is it okay for somebody to grab my butt? But how often are they touching you? Um, the other day, I had a guy who was talking to me, and he, bro, he grabbed me probably over 50, 60 times, and I was like, I was like, bro, right now I'm sore. I need you. He was just trying to talk to me. I was like, he kept going in and getting like a real feel. Like, and I was like, bro, uh -uh, don't touch me. Same thing with women. I had women do the same thing to me. So right now I don't even go out anymore because I don't like anyone groping me when they get drunk or even just trying to say, hey, how you doing? I'm like, you know, like I said before, going in the strip club a lot of times. Um, well, I haven't been that many times, but I've ended up with friends there. And the last time I was there was years ago. But I had eight men grab me where there were naked women walking around. Why are they grabbing me? Well, a drunk man tells no tale. So, right, you know, they see something they like, right? And I don't have security telling them that, hey, you can't touch this person. So they go in. I even one guy even offered to buy me a drink in a place where there are women, right? Or naked women. Um... That's another indicator that, okay, that person sees somebody they like and whatnot, and they're interested. Um, I would also say that, <sighs> oh, he jokes about being gay. I always say that it's funny or fun to play gay until it's time to admit you enjoy pretending or until, you know, it's time to admit that it was actually fun to play gay. You see guys playing gay all the time. You know, I think it's like a cathartic release where they, you know, let their same sex attraction go and pass it off as a joke and they leave it at that. But how often is he playing gay, right? Is it all the time? You know, you go on Instagram or go online, look at some of these videos of guys playing gay and look at how many people like it. Yeah, you can't really tell who's who, who's liking it, but at the end of the day i have a video right now that's going you know um you know well somebody put i commented on it a lot of people like in the comment because i say it's always funny to play gay until you realize or admit you enjoy it uh how often is he doing that you know he may only do it with you right you know you might do it with all of his buddies that's usually okay you know he's playing gay a whole lot that's usually an indicator that hey this person is likely you know curious or on the team or has some sort of same sex appreciation likely an attraction to the same sex um that's what i also found so the next one I want to move into, um, ask about, um, like gay sex, penis size. Oh my God. I never want to talk about penis. I really don't care. I just don't have an interest in it. But I found that as I hang out with straight men, you know, in my years that we were talking about, we always talk about penis. I was like, why are we talking about this? Like, I don't care. Like I don't got anything to hide, but like, this is not something I want to talk about because I have no interest in it. So oftentimes you find like, you know, guys, oh, penis this and penis that. But you know, those same men who are straight, you know, oftentimes kind of want to talk about it. I think that sometimes, you know, they have an appreciation for it or there's something that, you know, uh, I don't know, admiration. I find that. But if you find they're always talking about penis size, like I think in a super bad, he was like drawing, you know, penises or something like that. And they thought it was, oh, it's so funny. And I'm like, I don't find it funny. It's kind of dumb. But they think it's hilarious. That's usually something. Or if you ask about gay sex, right? You know, and you guys get that story out. You know, I had one particular former buddy of mine. Um, the last time we were kind of actually alone in a room studying, he asked me, how does gay sex work? And I was like, no, we are not going to have this conversation. If you want to have that conversation, there's Google, all these apps out there, and there's a gay man that will happily show you and demonstrate to you how it works. Um, I just didn't want to do that because I felt like it would take our friendship to another level that I didn't want. Like I said, 
I can be friends with you. We can be friends. We're 95 years old. But if we ever cross that threshold, I lose. A, we lose a chance of being friends with each other, right? So I don't like to cross that threshold with my friends at all. Um, and that was years ago. But yeah, also notice, you know, like I said, that's also an indicator. Gay sex, or how often he's talking about penis size, or even like, I don't know, even like butts, if you really want to talk about it. Um, also, if he gets jealous, the next point, I want to say that number seven is definitely how often he gets jealous. Sometimes you do find your straight friends get jealous of you being with another, because a straight guy may get jealous of a gay man who has a boyfriend, or a bi man who has a boyfriend or a girlfriend. That's also an indicator. I have stories of men I knew that were my friends that we got jealous of each other and I'm like we're all friends here bro but they didn't like each other so jealousy is a big factor first time I dated a guy you know I had a former friend at one point it was long this is years ago it was 20 years ago okay, I don't want to do my age but yeah he definitely um got jealous of my very first you know my boyfriend and you know in front of me was oh he's cool he's cool he's cool but I was hearing from other friends on my back like yeah he don't like your dude at all you know he's like why well, he always gotta invite him I was like well so yeah jealousy is a big one like I said, the more we check off things on this list, the likely this person is bisexual or a teammate. Um, and my, you know, that's my, my way of calling it. Um, let's see here. Group interaction with girls and guys. Going back and pivoting off that strip club situation. Uh, what I find a lot of times that a lot of guys will, you know, like really always look to get naked, right? Around other men, you know, hang out in the locker room naked or even so much as to enter a, like kind of, you know, like an entanglement, a sexual encounter with another guy and a girl. What I found in my research is that a lot of times they think that because there's a girl there that it makes it less gay, right? So those interactions, I felt like they're always trying, like at one point I had these buddies who were always trying to like get me in these situations, but I'm like, what is going on here? You know, I thought we were going out and then we end up, you know, having to like, you know, have this like, I don't know, invite, invite. <laughs> and in that situation, I'm like, okay, so we all gonna have to get naked here and have fun. And I'm like, okay. And I was like, that's not me anymore. Um, so yeah, I think that that's definitely an indicator too, like how often he's trying to have group and, um, get naked uh with a girl around and their buddies I always say that's also another way to measure you know how you feel around other men who are not just naked but ready to go um that's also a way to say you know you might be freaked out you might be turned on it could be a lot of different things but i would definitely say that that is also a big indicator um so uh, the next one i want to say is bonding over you know sexual talk like erotica is great you know it's always fun i think erotica is awesome you know oftentimes of course you have women talking about this man and girl he was this that and the third same thing with guys like oh bro she was xyz this and the third but i find that a lot of times too that that's a form of erotica is bonding and reliving that experience with somebody of the same sex um it's cool you can be straight and do it but at the same time it's erotic it is um so that also how often are you talking about their sexual encounters with you um i think that might also be kind of like something it could be more than just you know a bisexual tendency or but that's definitely another one that they want to kind of you know put you in that situation where you're all turned on right going back to the strip club a bunch of men in a room who are all ready to go with naked women all binding over it that's also very erotic not just being heterosexual yeah right um with each other as men uh it's erotic so um the next one i would say is that you feel a spark so if you are a gay man or a bi man and you feel a spark you know that this person you you know suspect may be a teammate um is like you know connect with you or texting you late at night like you're not crazy it's a real spark but understand remember him here he may be sidelined meaning he may not want to play he may have his reasons for not wanting to actually be physical with you uh but yeah like i've felt a spark many times and sometimes it's good to have a spark it's fun it's innocent it's like hey i like you and you know leave it at that uh but yeah you're not crazy you know because you know how he is with you first time with other guys or you know you just kind of know um so that's also another one uh, always say also to number 11 is like sometimes men will uh, do something flamboyant to kind of set themselves apart doesn't mean that they're gay or bi but oftentimes they know the code book that men operate by because guys are like oh that's gay and I'm like okay whatever he's just expressing himself but what I find with my teammates is that we sometimes will not all the time look for a way to express that hey you know I'm not like the other typical straight guy I'm a little more open than the most so it could be anything I don't want to pinpoint anything in particular but you know at one point remember like if you had both ears pierced and that was like a symptom to be gay not everybody does doesn't say if you have both ears pierced now you're bisexual but you see where i'm going as far as like there's something form sometimes it could be really long hair sometimes it could be like jewels and petted in the face it could be anything it could be even so much attire but just understand like i said before it doesn't always mean that you're a teammate or bisexual but like i said the more we check 
about things on this list like this person is bisexual um or you know like i said teammate which is cool to be on the black team right so i'm not berating anybody so if you are finding you're checking off more like two three four five of these you know it's cool I, welcome to the team you know what this is why i'm doing this video so you don't feel alone right the last thing i say number 12 is that um he hangs out at the gym right sauna or steam room now i will say right now that is actually how i ended i knew that something was up with me right uh when i was 18 years old freshman in college i actually went to the university of alaska uh in anchorage um but uh i would go to the steam room and sauna and i would just sit there in the steam room like so the steam room would just face the showers and they would just be like you know and i would sit there and i would see all the hockey players come in there right and they would shower and i'm like oh, okay wow what's going on i would sit in there for a long time trying to figure myself out like okay i think i like this i know i like this what am i who am i but what i find that oftentimes with locker rooms or steam rooms when they're in the actual locker room that's where things really hit the fan um like i said i think gyms are very homoerotic and i think that's where a lot of people take that from their liberty to really ex you know like express themselves in that setting um so yeah if he's always hanging out in the steam room or sauna room and finding that that might be something there right i don't want to say that person is bisexual necessarily but like i said before if they checking up all these on lists those are the ones i think that you know indicate that hey this person is definitely a teammate so if you are a teammate welcome to the bot team baby we have a lot coming out here for you i've been extremely busy which is why i don't do a lot of videos um but i'm gonna promise you guys i'm gonna do more and there will be a lot more representation that the world has not seen and i'm super excited to give it to all of you especially those who support us especially you straight sidekicks out there thank you for supporting us and of course you gay folks out there who i like to call our mascots thank you for being loud and proud and doing what you do i love you um and of course i love my teammates and i'll see you guys next time on my own